Ow. All right, for today's video, imagine this. You're driving along, you got the windows down, the wind is blowing through your hair, you're enjoying the weather. It's really nice out, it's fall time, or in actuality, it's probably like summer. You just had like three burritos for lunch, and you ripped ass inside your car and it smells really bad, so you gotta put the windows down to air it out. The stench is finally gone, you go to roll the window up, back up, and you hear a pop, and your window doesn't move anymore. Well, your regulator broke. Pretty common in these cars, uh, they break fairly often and really it's not that hard of a change the tools you're going to need to do that to make sure you can actually evacuate your car from here on out because of your stinky burrito habit you'll need a small screwdriver a ratchet with a t20 torch bit a inch pound torque wrench and some painters tape so the regulator, uh, first of all, for whatever your car is, I think you gotta pay attention. I think there's maybe a five and a seven pin version. The seven pin has the auto up and down controls in the window controls. So just make sure whenever you go by the regulator, you get the correct one. If you get one that has the motor attached. And I recommend probably just getting one that has a motor attached already because I mean, you already got the door off, might as well just change that at the same time. So first of all, you will take your screwdriver here and there is this little rubber panel right here inside the door this plastic panel right here behind the door handle and you have this plastic triangle piece up here that all need to come out the triangle piece is just held in by two of the little tree things the panel trees just gonna pop right here pull it out Gently, slides out, there you go, that's out of the way. Now you take a screwdriver, get back here in the doorknob, three tabs, just pop off the top, that comes out, and then you take a screwdriver here, just kind of dig up this little rubber in the, the door pull armrest thing, pull that out, take the torx bit, take out the torx bit right here. Take the one out right here. Set them so you don't lose them. I recommend the back of the triangle piece. That's all disconnected. Now you have going around the bottom perimeter of the door, more of the, uh, the little trim holder pieces they pop in uh, it's ideal if you have a panel remover tool if not you can just kind of use your hands or a putty knife just kind of reach up pop out the panel a little bit okay gently don't be surprised if some of these things break that's what they do they're designed to be trash All right, once it's all free, you lift the door panel up. Up and over the door handle. Let's close the door, get this reposition that you can see. All right. So right here, you have your door door uh, handle control you got this little tab you pull up slide the blue plastic piece out and then the knob the ball comes up and out the handle and you have two plugs here you just pinch and pull them out I'm trying to not get in the way of the camera Out. 
this one for the door locks has a lock on it. You'll probably need a screwdriver to pop the lock back so you can pinch it. Lock comes out. Pinch it. There you go. There's a little lock that came out. Take your door panel, set it to the side. You will still need it. All right. Now you'll pull off the plastic cover. You have to undo your power mirror. You want to get the plastic cover off. Now, if someone's already been in your door, let me see which way you're facing. I hope you can see. All right. If someone's already been in your door, most likely they have pulled this plastic off and they didn't put it back on because it's it's just kind of a dust guard and you don't really need it. But if you want to keep it, you have to take off this bracket that the door handle mounts to. Move your plastic out of the way. Save it, make sure it doesn't get screwed up if you want to put it back on. What I forgot to mention that you also need is a 10 millimeter socket. Now, when you're, you guys facing correctly? Okay, when your regulator broke, your window is at some point in time, or once it's broken, it's gonna be somewhere stuck down in here. Okay, but as we're sitting right now, I have the window up here, there is a bolt right here and a bolt right here bolt 10 millimeters that is what holds a little pressure clamp to hold your window to the regulator okay so depending on where that at is you'll have to find it in your car when I had to replace mine it was kind of hidden back here and it was a massive pain I had to unbolt the regulator and kind of tilt it to get it out since mine is up here like this I'll show you the other step and then take the painters tape here on the window. There go. I got the window taped up, as you can see. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Make sure your window's clean, so the tape adheres. So what I'm going to do now is grab my 10 millimeter. And break break those bolts free but not take them all the way out free but not take them all the way out since I have this kind of up here I need to drop those have it down a little bit so I'll take and I'll re-plug in my window controls. I need the key in the ignition. Let's move that down. Unplug the door panel again, set it aside again. Now you have bolt, 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 and bolt. They need to come out.
You can take these ones all the way out if you want to at this point in time. I'll do it to show you. regulator you just kind of bend up a little bit until it slides out. Other side here then you'll have the plug you gotta unplug right here. Push the tab it slides out. All right regulators out. So this will be for yours one of these cables will be broken. Now if you're buying the entire unit You'll just take the new unit, put it back in. If for whatever reason you're buying just the regulator and you're saving the motor, you will take these bolt dot, these three screws out, one, two here, one, two, three here, and you'll have to take and then pry the motor out from the back side. And there is a wheel inside here that has the cables wrapped up around it. You will then pry that out and make sure that the wheel is still attached, or the wheel would be part of the regulator assembly. And then you would have to take and pop your motor in down into it in the new one that you get okay so now that so now we imagine that we did that Doo -doo 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 -doo. okay so now we have these ones up here at the top we'll put these bolts back in lightly okay the plug the controls back in to your new regular assembly, slide this end in first. Put cable out of the way. This end up here, you'll slide the bolt up and around until it fits in through that slot and holds down in place. Slide five. that one. There you go. You may want a rag because it can be slightly greasy. Then line the, these holes up. Start these. Get those in place. Go ahead and tighten them all down. Pause real quick. Okay, an interesting thing to note here is I just double checked in case I popped this off. This is actually, this will show you from when my regulator broke before and I had to replace it. You can see that one of these tabs up here at the top should be down here snapped off and that's what caused it kind of to fail previously this was still in the door i guess it fell down it was hidden where i couldn't see it so there you go that's old one continuing Holy crap, it's freaking hot today. Okay, that's tight. So now I will again take the door panel, plug the controls back in, move the window. Turn on the key and then I will slowly raise up the track as I look through these holes to make sure that the 
the window gets inside these uh, the lift brackets the mounting brackets for the window it's in there Unplug that again. And I can show you on this one, actually. The window, where are you? Okay, the window goes in between these two pieces and then they clamp down and squeeze it. So as you're raising it up, you gotta make sure the window is in the correct place. In the, in the holders. So now I have that all the way up. Take my torque wrench. I should have already had it out of the package prior to this, but I did. Eighty inch pounds. Inch pounds, guys. Before I torque that down though, remember I said in my torque wrench video, if you watch it, if not, you should watch it. You'll snug this up because yes, the torque wrench is like a racket, a ratchet, excuse me, but you don't want to use it like it's a ratchet and just keep twisting, twisting, twisting. You want to get it someplace to start beforehand to make sure we don't shorten the life of the tool. Torque down. Bring the torque wrench back down. God, it's hot. Okay. Good thing this is a quick job because I'd be cooking out here. All right, that's all good to go. Make sure this is back out of the door. Put your plastic piece back on. Start with a bracket. In all honesty, dealing with this this stupid little liner is probably the most frustrating thing of it all. this bracket slightly loose I'm probably directly in the way slide everything through the holes where they go Look. that one back in to come through this hole. And this is really pretty much just kind of a dust shield to try and keep any dirt that comes in through the around the window and the weather stripping contained. Now that's there.
Now you'll take the door panel. This back so you can see over here. Take the ball, put it in, pull this back. The cable goes in a little slot that pushes over, snaps in. This connector connects down here. Take your head, take push the lock tab back up into that connector. This connector goes right here. It's nice and seated. And go up, push that back as I adjust to make sure you can see. Up over top of the door lock. Kind of push this back in here and down. So it's down, go around the edge. Gotta line up these pads with the holes. As you go around. Make sure they're in before you just start smacking them because they'll just snap. in there you got your two remaining torx bits and the door handle piece back in the little rubber bottom piece in here triangle piece there's a little just a little prong right here that goes into this prong up here kind of put it in place roll it over snap it in pull up your tape key in check there you go she goes down and goes up so there you go I don't exactly sh not exactly sure how long this took but aside from that little pause when I found the piece in the door that I wanted to make sure it didn't come off the regulator that took like maybe 15 minutes from start to finish so it's really not that difficult of a job. The hardest part is dealing with that that liner around there if you want to keep it in there. Uh, so yeah, just remember to check and make sure you get the correct regulator for your window. If it has the auto up and down, and if uh, you're going to replace the motor, might as well just do it at the same time. But it's totally up to you. All right, so that's it. That's how you change out a regulator on a cruise, first gen cruise. All right, so. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thanks for watching.